friends. So we're going to move on and we're going to move to our I Can Learn to Paint sheet. This first page just tells you a little bit about the brush, some rules about its hair. One thing that I want you guys to remember is last year, we always kept it to where our brushes ended with their hair facing up so the hair didn't get all smushed. Well, you guys don't have to do that, but you did get one of these watercolor kits in your art kit. And this paintbrush fits perfectly right in here. And I want you to make sure he is laying flat in that each time when you're finished painting. That way we know his hair stays up in that nice mohawk, okay? Make sure you have all of these supplies before you move forward. We have our watercolor kit with our paintbrush. A cup of water because this is watercolor paint so it uses a lot of water and a paper towel in case you get a messy or you want to clean up your brush a little bit from here let's turn the page and you will see it's a page that says I can learn watercolor painting so this is just some information so remember, they become liquid. Right now they're solid, but we use a lot of water. We use watercolor paint to make them liquid. There's a bunch of different techniques, and this is what we're going to practice right now. So the first thing, you're going to flip to your painting practice sheet, and this is where we're going to practice them. So the first thing I want you to practice is just filling your page, a little section of your page, with just water. There's no paint on there. Just water. This technique is called wet on wet. Now, dip in your brush. Remember, we dip, dip, dip. And swish, swish, swish into our paints. And I'm going to put wet paint on top of wet paper. And we're going to see what it does. Okay. So it kind of made it a little bit of a gradual thing. I'm going to rinse my brush. And now I'm going to put that same color, that orange, wet paint on dry paper and see right below it and see if it's different and it is so the wet paint on wet paper blended didn't it but the wet paint on dry paper didn't so this is all for you to practice different things with your paint so another one it was talking about was layers so you're going to wait for one layer to dry and then maybe layer another top they layer another color paint on top of that. The other one is wax resist. So this one is really cool. You're gonna get out a crayon and we'll just draw a triangle. You can draw anything you want. You can draw a flower, a moon, a sun, a person. And we're gonna dip, dip, dip and swish, swish, swish on our paint. And now I'm going to go over it. And as you can see, the wax resists the watercolor. So no matter what color crayon, you could use a white crayon. If you have one, you can put paint over it and it's not gonna cover the white part. This painting practice sheet is just for you guys. I am gonna want to look at it for one of your assignments this week, but it doesn't matter what's on there. Just get something on there, practice a couple techniques that we talked about, maybe make up your own. Upload a picture for me so that I can grade it, or you can also upload a video like I'm doing to you now. All right, friends, I will see you later.